What's up everybody? Tonight, we are jumping right back into it with another review. Tonight, we are doing 2020, The Broken Heart Gallery. This movie is starring Dars Montgomery, which you know him from the Power Rangers, and then he's also in Stranger Things, and then also Geraldine Visawathan, if I probably totally butchered that last name, but you know, again, I don't know how to pronounce it because it's a very long foreign last name, which I do apologize for. The movie is directed by Natalie Krinsky. This is a rom-com, romantic comedy. If you're not familiar with the term rom-com, it's going to run you an hour, 49 minutes. Basically, this movie is just, it's about a girl who's going through a breakup and is has just like basically just keeps mementos from like her past relationship. She's afraid to let things go and she can't let things go because... She's afraid, for whatever reason, just let him go, almost like a, a klepto kind of thing. And then she just happens upon to meet this, the other guy, and um, they he's opening, he's building a hotel and whatnot. And so she basically just starts a gallery of momentums from people all across the city who are who also hold on to things from past relationships. You know, of course, the love story and Susan and all that fun stuff, but. I won't get into more details with that because in case you guys want to check it out. Um, this one, it was okay. I mean, it's your basic rom-com movie. Um, I do like the two main characters. Um, the supporting cast is really good also. There's a couple of guys you'd be familiar with. You've seen other stuff. Um, but yeah, overall, I mean, it's, like I said, basic rom-com movie. Nice. Um... I mean, it's nothing special. I mean, it's got its funny parts. It's got its kind of uh, parts. Um, it's a little predictable um, for the most part, like most rom-coms are. But, you know, it's whatever. Most people wa don't watch it to be, you know, be heartbroken kind of thing. They watch it just for the simpleness of it. So, overall, I would rate it, like, we'll give it a solid, like, 5.6. Like I said, it wasn't, like, outstanding, but it wasn't terrible. So, we'll put it, we'll leave it right there in the middle category, like, like I always tend to do with a lot of these films. So... Like I said, if you're looking for just an easy watch, romantic comedy kind of thing, you know, a date night kind of situation, definitely check this out. It's got a good soundtrack. Like I said, it's got a couple good actors in it. And, and that's all I got for you tonight. But tomorrow I'll be back at it with you. And tomorrow night I will be covering one of my new favorite movies that I just watched a couple days ago. I finally got a chance to watch it, Tenet. So be on the look on that for one tomorrow. Peace.